Let's talk about Libya. Apparently, those women there, about 200 uh, women, uh, Nigerians, sorry. And of course, you had them shouting freedom, 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 freedom. This video was trending yesterday. And uh, of course, you know exactly how we feel about Nigerians stranded abroad. And again, you saw how we rally around somebody like Chidima. So we rest assured we are going to rally around this video, especially me, myself. There is a need for us to rescue these girls. I don't care what they have done, how they want them, and how they found their way back into that place. Now, as far as Currently, they need help, so I think the government should immediately send help. However, according to Abike Dabiri, that is uh, the commissioner, the director commissioner of uh, Nigerian State Diaspora, hmm? she said they have rescued Nigerians before from Libya. Eh? They rescued many Nigerians from Libya. With the promise that they will never return to Libya again. But unfortunately, many of them that they rescued still took that route. Ended up back into Libya again to try to cross into Europe. Well, <laughs> Let's listen to what uh, this woman said, uh, Abike Dabiri. She said, I was part of the team that went inside Libya prison to rescue over 10,000 Nigerians in Libya with a warning they, that they should desist, but they still return. Not even sure this is a new video because 140 were rescued again a few weeks ago. The multiple agency tax force on evacuation will look into it, but Libya is to be avoided by irregular migrants. We warned severally. We warned severally. And Abike actually has proof of video of her actually going to Libya. Let us be honest, Abike they try. Abike they try. I understand the political issues, but I can they try. I can never, I know if you talk against that woman when it comes to some certain issues about Nigerian diaspora, she they actually they respond swiftly and quickly. I became they try. And she also have proof as well. Well, then again, the question we they ask ourselves, why do Nigeria keep going to Libya? I want to share, share you a video of one old bros. May they don't deport severally from European country. They don't deport her for journeys back to Nigeria. But this man, no one give up. In fact, currently he's still on his way. No, he, he, he made a documentary of him still going back to Libya. Hold bros like that too. <laughs> bros, they don't deport you separately. Stay back home. <laughs> it's a la la. Kai, Nigeria did that bad. Ah, now wow. Stay back home, brother. Do comedy. <laughs> or even turn this into a, a, a vlog. I'm just talking about, I'm just trying to make the situation look a, a little bit lighter. This route eh, is really dangerous. There are pirates there, scavengers. Not just scavenging property, scavenging uh, uh, human parts. 
This guy needs to be careful. They have deported him, according to the story, they have deported him severally from a European country. But he keeps going back through Libya. He keeps going back through Libya. Well, it will surprise you even to say Libya. Eh? So Nigeria, as they actually they work there or they make money. Or it will surprise you. So Nigeria actually works there and make money. And their currency is still strong. In fact, you can get a, a, a fear there really cheap. In fact, you feel use about $11. $11. Not even $11. I think about uh, five dollar there, about five dollar or even less, to fill your tank, to fill your car tank, about five to six dollar or even less in Libya. They still have one of the cheapest fuel pump price in the world, even with all those tapa 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 that is happening there. But brother, see, I did narrate too. If the guy they narrate how he no go fear back go back, he will continue to take that route to Libya. Jama, <laughs> they no go rescue you, eh? Stay back home. Now this will be the bros. Maybe like say, ah, that bros don't come back again. Ah, he go see move. He don't come back again. Ah, he go see move. He don't come back again. Ah, he go see move. I don't know. May God uh, provide for everybody because now only God know what they look for. Maybe like I said, they don't deport you severally, but you see they don't go back. Now only God know what they look for. Okay. Oh, wow. Hi everyone. Now, on the viral video circulating about Nigeria stranded in Libya, now here are the facts. A few years ago, under President Muhammad Buhari, I personally wrote seeking a massive evacuation of Nigerians in stranded in Libya because of videos such as we just saw. Now, the Mr. President then approved and a high power delegation was constituted and sent to Libya to go into the, the detention centers. We had the Minister of Foreign Affairs then chairing it, Office of the National Security Advisor, the Comptroller General of Immigration, NAPTIP Refugee Commission, and myself, NIA was also there, and myself, and um, we went into detention centers in Libya. I saw one of the most horrific sights of my life. I remember that girl who held on to my leg and said, in pigeon, because she didn't want them to hear her speak English, they will understand, and she said, oh, Wow, but majority of them will still go back. Let us fix our country. Let's fix this country. Let's fix it. Let's fix this country. There is a need for us to fix this country. Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Because all those things nobody happen if we have if we had fixed our country a long time ago. Then, you know, my state, Edo State election is coming, the governorship election. And uh, we have about three strong candidates now, one from Labour Party. One from PDP who are currently ruling, who was formerly APC, but they, uh, they come to PDP. Then another one from uh, APC, make it all say it will bring you security. But with the backing of uh, Adams or Shumale, who I really, really respect very, very, very well. Well, Peter Obi was in Edo State yesterday to support Ulu, the former NBS. Uh, Nigeria Bar Association uh, uh, leader, if I may use that word, supporting Ulu. And of course, you see the massive gathering when people saw Peter Obi. So we do not know exactly what will happen. And you know, bribe go, go, go around money, they will share money. But then this is uh, an advice coming from Peter Obi. He said, if they give you money, they vote hmm? on that day. Collect the money because it's your money. But then vote your conscience. Appeal to you that I know there's hunger, there's difficulty. So if everybody is tempted 
to collect the peanuts they give you to put today. But remember that you are selling four years of bad governance. You see what we are going through in Nigeria because we compromise our future by selling our future to those who are not competent, who don't have the capacity, capability, or have the compassion to serve our state and our country. Please, do not sell your conscience. Even when they give you the money, you can collect it because it's your money. It's your money that they've taken and they're giving you back. But vote not based on that money. Vote for the right candidate. Vote for a candidate that will perform. Vote for Olumide Abaka. I think when it comes to Nigeria issue, eh, telling people not to collect money. Eh. <laughs> it's like advising a deaf. It's like uh, carrying a mic and talking to a deaf and dumb person. Mm? They don't go here. But then again, collect money, but vote for your conscience. Mm? Whoever you want to vote for, don't allow anybody to intimidate you, to tell you whoever you want to vote for. If my PDP, you vote. If my APC, you vote. If my Labour Party, you vote. And meanwhile, on that day, I will also vote.